What's up, Super Players? It's the homie C Rod, and today, you know, I wanted to make this quick video just in case you guys didn't know. It's another game, a card game from Bandai, and it's a brand new one. And, you know, it's from pretty much from the same people from Dragon Ball Super Card Game, Bandai themselves. And uh, just to re reiterate, this is a pretty interesting game. Uh, I was like pretty surprised when I heard about this and I saw the trailer hopefully you guys enjoy and let me know what you guys think should we make content on this should the super players make some super battles with this card game coming up so let's just check it out right now and also to mention I am also a huge um, as you guys can see it's Naruto so we got Naruto right Naruto Uzumaki, and then the Akatsuki, right there. See, I know my I know my Naruto. Now Naruto Shippuden. All right, this is where I get lost. I've never seen this. I stopped at Naruto Shippuden Boruto. I guess that's uh, Naruto's son. But we got a new card game, as you guys can see right here. And uh, uh, I gotta pause it right there. Look, as you guys can see right there, they have energy cost. I'm guessing it's gonna be like Dragon Ball Super Card Game since it's from like the same people. Um, they have energy cost, but the game's going to be playing a lot different. What if they actually have like a crossover guys and you could cross over Naruto with Dragon Ball, you know, some way, you know, maybe they make an extra card Naruto Uzumaki crossover. I don't know. Let's just keep watching. So featuring the unique dynamic chrono clash system. Chrono clash system says. So look cost. So. As you guys can see, just like in Dragon Ball Super card game, you got an energy cost right there. So I'm guessing it might like use energy in some sort of way. Maybe they, they'll call it chakra in this game. Uh, but if it's anything like Dragon Ball Super card game, the gameplay, uh, it's going to be awesome because Dragon Ball Super card game gameplay is what takes the game to potentials. You know, that's what sells the game. It's literally the game itself, how you play. So let's see what happens. The cost marker will move toward so... Yeah, something about turn system. Um, so you play three. Three. Uh, Alright, I got... Alright, so I got lost there. I'm not going to lie. They were just spamming out battle cards. If that's what they, they're even called. But there you just spammed them out. Apparently, you can just bring out your strongest foe. And, uh, you know, just from this trailer alone, I cannot say how to play it. But um, this is... Pretty much a unique mechanic, in my opinion. Oh, that was pretty cool. They got all the the, card the all demons. Icons. Card effects are all icons. All plus hands. three, easy to pick Battle up and play for four, up to four, up to four players. Player. All right, so this is pretty tight. It's a four-player man card game. So it's a f it's two versus two, and that's pretty sick. I haven't seen a game that's two versus two. Um, from the look of it, I don't know how this game's going to be. It's looking like a lot different from Dragon Ball, just just from what I see here. Use your favorite cards at any time. Tsunade, the, the Ultimate, and Dynamic Chrono Chrono Clash System, Clash it says. System. The so we got Boruto and Naruto. All right. All right, so this game's going to come out on June 2019. You know, Dragon Ball Super Card Game came out like almost, almost about to make two years. It's about to be two years and the game's been doing crazy good. You know, Tournament of Power boxes are going over $200 because they're so hard to find. Uh, Dragon Ball Super Card Game, uh, the new Destroyer's Kings on its own is also very hard to get right now. They're like, they're they're not making any more prints for the, like the special edition packs. So one of the special edition boxes costs like 20 bucks. I'm like, what the heck? But uh, yeah, uh, wonder if this game is going to be the same. Let it be known in the comment section below, super players. Let it be known. Do you guys want to see us, you know, Tony G and I, pick up the card game and, you know, make, instead of Dragon Ball Super uh, themed battles, we'll have Naruto themed battles. Um, and I'm a pretty good Naruto fan and Naruto Shippuden fan. More of a Naruto. I like Naruto the original. And Naruto Shippuden was pretty tight. But I never really, like, finished all the way to Boruto, so uh, I'm still a hardcore Dragon Ball fan. That's that's where I I live by. But you know I I am a Naruto fan. I only watch pretty much three animes, which is Dragon Ball Super, Naruto, and One Punch Man. 
And that's pretty much it. I used to watch Yu Yu Hakusho, but, you know, that, that's an old, old, old anime. But, yeah, this card game, what do you guys think? Should we pop it? Should we check it out? Or should we just, you know, skip it? Are you guys going to stick it, like, skip it? I only got money, enough money for one card game, honestly. Naruto so, let's see what happens. June 2019. Yeah, so, that's pretty much going to be it. There's the website. You guys want to go check it out. It's called chronoclashsystem.com. If you want any more information, you could go check out their website. And I'm pretty sure it's going to, you know, give you a lot more information on how to actually play the game and whatnot. But, yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should we make a super player uh, battle, you know, a super Naruto battle when the game comes out? That'll be tight. Or should we just skip on it and uh, it's going to be whack? I don't know. Let it be known. I'm really curious what you guys think, and uh, that's it. Like we always say, y'all stay super. Peace, players.